the city of Nauzad, once a thriving center of business, boasting more than 30,000 residents and 800 places of business. A well-developed township maintaining a reputation for producing some of Afghanistan's most educated professionals. All reduced to this. Taliban infiltrated the city and with them brought war and destruction, driving thousands from their homes. Everything they'd ever worked for, gone. Thanks to United States Marines and Afghan National Security Forces, the city of Nauzad is reborn anew. Families are slowly making their way back to the homes they once knew so well. The men in the community are returning to their shops and tentatively opening their doors for business. I kept waiting to receive word that the city was safe, and after four years, the government finally said we could come back. I was happy and was the first one to come back and open my business. There are at least 50 of us now, and I am seeing more and more of my old neighbors every day. But it's hardly the home they once knew. <laughs> Gulam Dastiger proudly gives a tour of his home and explains how his wife has worked tirelessly to pick up the pieces and make their home recognizable for the children. My wife cried when she first walked in our home after four years away. Moving my family around to places they didn't know was very hard for all of us. Wally John's wife preferred to remain covered, but explained the comfort of going home after four long years away. The house needs a lot of work, but I don't mind. Having my children back home under this roof is what I need. The rest will come, but at least we are home. This is where we belong. A lot of these families, when, when they left, they, uh, they, they had no idea that they would be leaving for, for four years. They thought they might be leaving for a few months. Um, you know, the, the Taliban would be kind of held at bay or pushed out of the area. But uh, with the economy of force that we had in Afghanistan, that, that, that didn't happen. So as soon as they knew, you know, could see that glimpse, that glimmer of hope and opportunity to possibly come back and regain that life they held previously and try to get, try to start working in a direction that will allow them to get back to a life of normalcy. Obviously, they're, they're very excited and anxious to, uh, to partake in that. Despite all the people of Nauzad have been through, they still believe in the future of their community and want to work. Our city was a beautiful place and can be again. We are so poor now, but we are strong people and will work and do whatever needs to be done to make a safe place for our children and teach them to be proud, productive Afghans. Young Nazdana was once top of her fourth grade class. Since she's moved back, however, she's been put in a first grade class. But like most Nauzad residents, she knows the wrong will be made right in time. I used to love going to school and learning new things. But now I have to focus on working for my father until his business can get back to the way it used to be. So Nazdana will continue rebuilding her city in the only way she knows how, along with the rest of the people of Nauzad, by taking it one day at a time. After all, she knows it will only go up from here. I'm so impressed. Reporting from Combat Outpost Cavaretta, Helmand Province, I'm Corporal Jen Calloway. Marine Expeditionary Brigade, Afghanistan.